Hi there, welcome back here guys. In as lecture we have introduced uh, void type, we have used it in our custom types noop and noop2. In uh, this lecture we'll continue with uh, generics. Okay, so what are the generics and how we can uh, use them first in our play function? Let's remove function1, function2, we don't need them now, and also these types here. Uh, we'll still keep here our person, we can use it as an example later. What I would like to do here is to create here a very simple generic type we can already we are fami already familiar with and that's arrays okay so first i'll create a function i'll call it simply iterate all right and the iterate function will be responsible to et iterate the numbers what i want to pass here is the array of the numbers okay or items let's call it items it's more, more generic so i'll write here items all right, I will assign here a type of item will be array. I'll write this syntax and in a pointy brackets, I'll specify type of this array. So you can specify here any, this means array will work with, with, with any type. I can specify it also more, more specific type. So I can say here, it will be working with the strings, number, person and whatever, whatever you want. Okay, so I will actually specify here, this will be array of strings, it will be items. And what I would like to do is to iterate items, console log them out uh, and to uppercase them. Okay, so what we can use here is simple iteration function called for each you can call on any array. So let's call here items on items you can call for each. To for each you need to pass callback function which will be executed every time you will iterate through the, through the array, okay? The item in array. Okay, so items for each, what you are getting here in this callback function as a parameter will be item you are currently iterating over. So in a case of the parameters, let's say two, three, four, first iteration you would get here number two, second iteration will get here number three, and third iteration will get here number four. Okay, so I will specify here this item. Okay, I will console log it out. So console log out item, simple as that. And I will call here iterate function, iterate, and of course I need to provide here a value for this items parameter. And this will be this will be array of uh, strings, right? So let's let's provide here array of names. Philip, all right, John, all right. Uh, okay, Tom, let's say. Okay, uh, let's let's write here, L let's save it now. Let's go to playground, to our browser as okay. localhost, localhost 3000. And you should see here, not 300, but 3000. And you should see here this iterated items, Philip, John and Tom, so every item we have iterated through. Interesting thing when you are specifying here area of strings is that the item you are iterating through here is a string of type string. Of course, because you are using for each on area of strings. So I can use here our string functions. Okay, so all the string functions, when I will write here dot, I can access them. For example, to uppercase, so I can uppercase these letters. To uppercase like this. Okay, so now I will, I will save it. Of course, the numbers, uh, numbers, the names should be now uppercase. Okay, so uh, this is working and that's the thing here. Now I can specify here any specific type. I can write here items will be not as strings, so, but it will be numbers. I would like to work here with the numbers and immediately I'm getting here errors. I cannot pass here array of the strings into array of the numbers and uh, I cannot call item to uppercase on, uh, on a string, on a, on a number actually, okay, on a number. Okay, and that's your first generic generic interface, in this case, array of the numbers, and in next lecture, we'll work on our own generic interfaces and types. Before we'll finish, of course, you can specify here any type and any type, now everything will work, but of course, now you will not have, you will not have here out of field of the two uppercase because TypeScript doesn't know with which type we should work now. Oh okay, guys, that should be it for this lecture. Let's keep it as a strings. Let's call here to uppercase and next lecture let's continue our custom our custom type. So see you there. Cheers.